So we're going to look now how we can rotate these labels here. We have created these labels and this is from my previous video, a continuation of it. And now we want to make sure we rotate them in any way we want. So let's start to continue on and look how we can rotate these labels. So far we have these labels and if you don't have this, please check out my video here. This is a continuation from this point of the video. By the way, if you want to get the source code, check out my Patreon and of course join the Discord channel. So what I'm going to do here now is, and all these links are in the description box. So what I'm going to do is how to rotate these. And this is a very easy item because we already have here all our code. So what I want to do here is just to look at one thing. First of all, I want to start working with a constant angle because I'm going to say here, math.pi and we will divide this by 180 degrees. Why? One pi is a half circle, two pi is a full circle. So half circle is 180 degrees and I want to have only a single angle. So once I have this, I'm going to work here on our fonts here. So if I want to rotate them, what I can do is the following. I'm going to say here ctx.translate and then I'm going to put in here the X and Y coordinates. And the X and Y coordinates that I want, or basically what translate does is it's like a piece of paper on top of the canvas that we can start to rotate while everything else will stay intact or in place. So basically I'm going to select this area and it will be rotated only. So how do I get these coordinates here? So these coordinates are basically the ones we have here. This is the X coordinate. So I'm going to copy this, put it in here, and this is the Y coordinate. So once we did this, this is the new zero point. So that will mean that this here becomes zero. Let me just show you, if I save this, refresh, you can see nothing happens. If I change this and then we'll just put in here, this value here, and let's see what happens. As you can see here, it starts to do completely different items. So that is very important. So now we have reset this and make this the zero point. Now we can rotate. So I'm going to say ctx.rotate. And our rotate, we can say here the angle which is this here, and then we can multiply it. For example, 90 degrees, save that, and there we are. And we can, of course, continue on saying 180 degrees, and it will then change it upside down or to 70, putting it here again in a different way. So you can do this, and you can play around with it. Make sure you have the restore for the rotation, or else it will uh, re respond very weird. And that's it.